guys, this is Mara at The Reading Hedgehog with my video review of Independent Study by Joelle Charbonneau. This is the second book in the testing trilogy and I know this review is super late. I've been busy. But it's up now. Um, so I will read the synopsis. This is mostly usual because I'm very bad at summing things up. And I'm sorry about the glare. With her brutal testing experience forgotten thanks to a government-issued memory wipe, 17-year-old Kaya Vale is eager to begin her studies at the Commonwealth's elite university, as is Thomas, the boy she loves. Their bright futures are threatened by the past, however, when violent nightmares that feel more like memories force Kaya to question reality and the true motives lurking behind the friendly faces of her classmates. Embarking on a forbidden course of study that could get her killed, Kaya delves into the Commonwealth's darkest secrets what she learns changes everything. The testing was just the beginning. So I gave this book four out of five strawberries, um, which is one strawberry more than the first one. Um, I just, I really liked this one better. I thought that the game was stepped up in terms of plot and the risks. Um, the world felt more developed than in the first one, which was one complaint I had. And the characters felt more developed too. Um, I can't exactly say why, they just did. Um, I actually... There felt there, there was more dimension to some of the new characters, and the main characters were still very much the same, but just... I don't know, they felt a little more developed, and we learned more about the world of the United Commonwealth and its history and just kind of things that were going on. So it just it felt more developed as a whole. Um, Kaya is one of those characters that either you like her or you probably hate her. Um, she's very, she's extremely selfless. Um, almost so much so that it's a tiny bit unbelievable. I mean, everything she does, she does as a matter of principle. Um, she does to help other people. She won't kill anyone, at least she doesn't want to. Um, later she's kind of forced to. Um, and I just, I can't hate characters that stand for their, stand up for their principles and who are just really good, nice people. Um, sometimes I kind of want to smack them because it can get in the way of practicality, but I can't hate them for it. And I also can't hate Kaya for being a better person than I would be, quite honestly, in her situation. Um, she also really steps up to being a leader. This book is mostly about her, um, her journey from being the girl that she was in the testing to, stand, to taking on a more leadership role. And it was so, so nice reading a story with a female character who actually wants to start a rebellion, who wants to lead, who steps up to it, who realizes that there, she has no choice, she really needs to do it, and so she just does it. I liked Katniss in The Hunger Games, but after the first one I really kind of got tired of her because she was always complaining and whining and just want to leave it all behind and it's just like, wake up Katniss, you can't leave it behind, you have no option, you have to stand up to them now. So it was really cool that Kaya stand it up, stood, stand it up, stood up to them and took on the role of leader. It was very nice. Um, I was mostly worried going into this that her and Thomas would start fighting, and I really didn't want that because I like Thomas, he's a super nice guy, and I liked them together, and I'm so happy they don't really fight that much. I mean, they have some disagree disagreements, but they're very mature about it, and their relationship grows because of these fights, and they he stays really decent, she stays really decent, and I just, I do really like the romance in this. There's no love triangles. Kai is actually able to be friends with other guys and just have it as a platonic relationship and not get romantically involved with them even though they're very attractive. Um, and that was really nice. Um, some of the best characters in this were actually the side characters. Um, I'm blanking on names, but just some of the new characters are really good. There's some really creepy characters. Um, and the author is not afraid to kill characters off. I mean, some of the characters that died, I was just like, whoa, you seriously did not just kill them. Um, this one isn't, probably isn't as exciting as the testing. I mean, when she goes to the university, she has to undergo this, um, induction ceremony, and it's kind of like a mini testing. Um, and really even her classes and everything, it's kind of like the testing never ended. You cannot fail at this university. It could mean your life if you do. Or rather, it will mean your life if you do. Um, but there's not the the games feel to it, so it's not quite as exciting, but 
I just really appreciated how everything developed in this, how it did move forward, and I really liked Kaya and the characters, and there were some really cool, creepy, weird moments in this, so yeah, I, unlike a lot of people, I thought this was an improvement, and I really can't wait to read Graduation Day. Uh, any questions and comments you have, you can as usual leave below, and if you want to read my review, I will leave the link below along with everything else. And until next time, I'm wishing you guys all a great day. Bye.